Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about the, you know, the incident with GMAC Group. Did they pay me? Uh, what's the new developments? Well, there's no new developments, okay? Um, I think several days ago, uh, one of the people that are working for GMAC, Ken, I think, he sent me an email inquiring about uh, you know he sent me a picture saying like you know supplier can you do this product i replied we can do it you know but uh, unless you resolve your issue maybe he doesn't know you know he's a new email he's a new email maybe he doesn't know the incident i said like it, we, we will not uh, produce for you unless you you know solve the issue from last time or like this time or you know if you pull, pay full amount of the you know order value and uh, after i said that he didn't reply you know so you know i also sent them one or two emails urging them to you know fulfill your obligation just to pay me like you told you you would you know several times but they did not reply. So the worst news I think is that um, they will not pay and we have to sell it at a discounted price, okay? And so that we can, you know, make our loss uh, to the minimum. It's not uh, a lot, but it's also not a small amount. They, they, placed uh, the order for 1,600. The price is $4, they paid 15% uh, down payment. So I think it's about $5,000, right? Not a lot, but not a small amount, amount of money. I feel like uh, um, Alibaba does not protect the interest of the supplier the way they protect the interest of the uh, buyer you know if if there is a problem that the buyer has with the supplier they can seek you know protection maybe they can seek uh, they can create a open a case okay but i have tried on alibaba there's no way for us to you know to sue or to uh, complain a uh, buyer that doesn't pay the final payment, doesn't pay the balance. So that is why I'm going to YouTube. I'm going to uh, Google review. I have already written them a bad review, and they know this. And even the guy, maybe one of the uh, owners, uh, what's his name? One of the Jewish people. Let me see his name. One is is Afrim man. The other ape Afrim man and the other guy, you know. He said, "No, why why are you doing this Esco? This is blackmailing. This is uh, this is uh, not right. This is not blackmailing. I'm just telling people the truth. You did not pay us. You did you did say that you would pay us several times and you don't." Okay, this is not definitely not right. I'm not, you know, had I know it would be this difficult dealing with your company, I would not do this. You know, before I didn't know it is, it, it would be so hard to make money, you know, working with uh, Jewish people. And I don't, you know, I don't have personal hatred toward the Jewish people, but it happened to be. It happened to be, you know, it's just like, you know, you know, people, for people who know me for a long time, they know that like, uh, several years ago, I reported an uh, illegal teacher teaching in Shanghai. Some people say like, oh, it's because I hate black people. No, it happened to be black people. It happened, he happened to be black person and he's working illegally. 
At this time, it, it happened to be that I'm dealing with maybe a Jewish people's own company, and some of the other colleagues are other people from that from the company are Chinese. I can see from the from the email names, right? And uh, you know, and it, and both both of the times, you know, it's not uh, out of hatred. You know, the the black illegal teacher, he is working illegally in Shanghai. That is why I reported him, and he lost uh, his job. The this company, GMAG, is also from New York. That black guy is also from New York. And uh, both of them are from Brooklyn. You know, why, you know, why is so, I don't know why, why I'm so, 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 so. Why, what is so special about the Brooklyn? I don't know. But, uh, you know, I don't have many other options. I cannot sue them. You know, if I were in America, I can, you know, I Googled, we can go to the small, I think small claims courts to sue them, but I'm not a New York citizen or American citizen. I cannot go and sue them. I tried on Alibaba, there's no option to see compensation from them, you know. That is the only, you know, what I can do is that, you know, I I let more people know this. I'll talk on social media, Alibaba. Maybe I'll write an article on maybe a medium, like a blog, because some people they don't believe me. Like in my last video, I can see there's a comment. His name is uh, Aguru Asko, and I click the you know, account, nothing. I think it's just a newly registered account just to talk to me about that video. He said, oh, it's not because of them, it's because of you, because the product is bad, they don't want it. No, the product is good. They have the, they have passed through the third party inspection. I can give you all the, you know, information, all the inspection report. I can give you the email exchange between me and the GMAC group. I probably will do that. I will, you know, YouTube, you know, doesn't allow me to to write. I can write it on Medium. I think I have a account, an account on Medium. I will write on that. I will paste uh, pictures. I will let you see. I'm speaking 100% uh, honestly, you know, 100% truth, okay? This is not over, you know, unless they, the company cover our loss, even though, you know, they may change into another company, but they cannot change. It's not easy to change the name. If you really care about your name, your image, your own names, your company name, your image, you better come to me and solve this. Okay.